Hello and welcome to the channel where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. And in this guitar lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the C chord with easy tips for beginners. And that's coming up. Thanks for checking out this lesson where today I'm going to teach you how to play the C chord and give you lots of tips to make it easier for you. And a lot of beginner guitar players have trouble playing the C chord because you're having to stretch your fingers across three frets. But I'm going to give you all the tips you need to make it easy for you. So after I show you how to play the C chord on guitar, I'm going to give you three bonus tips to make it easy and so that it sounds great when you get done. So without further ado, let's zoom in and learn the C chord. All right, so first off, it's called the C major chord. I'm going to show you how it's played. The C major chord. You'll see that our first finger is right here on the B string, which is the second string. And you always want to play way up here behind the fret, which the fret is this metal bar going across here. Fret. So you get the best sound when you're playing right behind that fret. Then stretch your second finger over here to the D string, which is the fourth string. You're still going to be behind that fret. And then your third finger is way over here behind the third fret on the fifth string, which is the A string. Now when you start out playing this C major chord, see how this is muted? And the reason is because the palm of my hand is touching that. So what you need to do is you need to leave space in between the palm of your hand and the bottom of the guitar neck. And how you do that is take your thumb and position it, lower it down. The mechanics of your hand, you're automatically, just by lowering your thumb to the middle of the back of the guitar, it drops it down. So now, in between here, I'm no longer touching it. And the next tip for you is keeping this elbow in close to your body. If I'm out like this, watch how my hand is. It's just automatic. Can't help it. So keep your elbow in close to your body and your thumb drop it down I'll give you the third tip in a minute but first I'd like to invite you if it's your first time here have a look around the channel if you like what you see consider subscribing for more guitar tips and tricks and if you're already a subscriber thanks you might also find <clears throat> that your finger this third finger could be touching another string. And one of the major reasons for that is if you're not playing on the tips of your fingers right here the very end, the tip. If you're not playing on the tips of your fingers you might be muting some strings. After you've positioned your fingers you can tell if it's going to sound good by picking one at a time. And another tip. So now you've got the low E string muted. When you're playing the C major, you just want to play from the fifth string down. And to make sure you're not playing that low E string, position this third finger 
slightly against that E string so that it doesn't ring out if you accidentally touch it. So always play on the tips of your fingers. And another tip I have for you is watch this video next so that you can learn four different ways to play the G chord. Thanks.